hi everyone I had a request to do a face of the day with one of the Lorac mint palettes and I haven't decided yet which one I will use but we'll get to that so I just wanted to start with my uh, regular face routine and kind of show you what I'm doing I already primed my skin and I'm going to use the hourglass immaculate foundation in the color shell and I like to put it on this mirror um, suppose that you can use one pump I use three or four but and I like a nice fluffy brush like this. This is the Real Technique Real Techniques Buffing Brush, which is a little bit fluffier and less dense than the Sigma um, Sigmax Kabuki. And I love this foundation. I really do feel it's been clearing my skin up. This in conjunction with some other things I'm using. So that's a good thing. And I just kind of lightly buff this in. I don't kind of go crazy with the buffing motion. It's It does best to kind of sit on top rather than be buffed in. Does that make sense? <laughs> so, like I said, I'm really enjoying this one. I've been using this almost every day. And it's kind of a medium coverage, I'd say. Okay. So then once I've done that, I take my concealer, this is the Hourglass Pearl Hidden Concealer. I put some on the back of my hand, and then I press it into the places that need extra coverage. Okay. I always like to get in there too. Okay. Then I'm going to use my Benefit Fake Up Concealer. This is an under eye concealer. It's it's kind of surrounded by um, a balm of sorts. It's really an interesting product. I like it. It's um I bought it in the color medium, and I think it does a good job on the under eye circles, and it does not cake up, which is huge. And then I just tap that in. like so. Okay, so that's that. Next I'm going to take my um, Hourglass Ambient Powder in Mood, which is the lavender tone, and um, kind of a, I'm going to take a powder brush and give this a whirl today and see what you guys think. And I'm just going to use that as a setting powder. I do like this one. It's got a really pretty undertone to it. And I like it as a setting powder everywhere except for like my problem area in here where it gets very oily. So I don't use it there, but I use it everywhere else. And then I pulled this old relic out. This is Mac Studio Fix to use in the T-zone. I can't use this on the rest of my face. It actually will break me out, but right there it's okay. So that's the skin. All right. So I'm going to zoom in and kind of show you what I'm going to do with the eye makeup today. Yes, I look very tired. <laughs> I have a house full of sick kids, so bear with me. I'm going to start with the NARS primer. I really like this primer. Someone was asking me what I thought of this, and I think it's really fantastic. And I'm just going to... I don't always use an eye primer, but I usually use the Veil Primer from Hourglass, but I thought it would be something different to show you. This is what I use on brides, by the way, when I really, really don't want their eye makeup to budge. And the price isn't too bad. I want to say it's $24 for the, the big tube. That was the um, sample size. So then next I'm going to do my brows. I, I know I do this probably in a different order than a lot of people, but I feel like I can't do my eye makeup without seeing my brows done. So I'm using the Illamasqua Brow Powder in the color Motto. I had... Um, a subscriber, Tommy, a while back talk about this and I have fallen in love with it and I haven't used really anything else since. And it's really good. So if you have Illamasqua at your Sephora, check these out. So, And this is the Real Techniques brush for this. Okay. Next I'm going to um, dive into this palette, the mint palette. Now, 
I tend to actually like the little one better. I don't know why. There's no logical reason for that. It's just I, I just do. So <laughs> I'm going to start with this sparkling taupe color on the lids. It's really, this whole palette is super easy to wear and pretty cool toned, which I prefer. Then I'm going to take a MAC 217 and the purple, which is fairly dark in this palette, and take it into the crease. I don't kind of wear a lot of purple, but I'm wearing a purple t-shirt today, so. Now, if you have smaller eyes, you may not want to take this up quite as far as I do, but just that's just the way I like it. Okay, then I'm going to take the original shadow brush I was using, this one, and this lighter champagne color, and I'm going to put it in the inner, basically right there in the inner part of my lid. Excuse me. Next I'm going to take a tiny pencil brush and the mint color because what's the point of playing with this palette if you're not going to use the mint? And I'm going to use it as an inner corner kind of highlight pop of color. I love this color. I think it's super unique. I haven't seen anything else like it. It is matte, it's very pigmented, and it's easy to work with. There's that. And then I'm just going to kind of clean off this brush and kind of try to blend that a little bit better. Okay. Next I'm going to uh, wipe this brush off, the pencil brush, and I'm going to go underneath my lower lash line with the initial kind of taupe color I used. a black liner, if I can find one. I have MAC Feline, kind of my go-to liner. And then I'm just going to do the upper lash line. And I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. Of course, I just realized I forgot the highlight color. There's sort of a vanilla shade in here. I'm going to take my original brush and get the brow bones. And then another coat of mascara. Okay. I'm going to back it up. And I'm going to use the blush that's in this set. It's a very pretty peach color. color. Okay. And then I had pulled out a lipstick I forgot I had. It's the Dior Addict lipstick in the color Vintage. And it looks like that. It's kind of a mauvey plum. It's kind of sheer. So it looks like that. And then I think I'll top that with something What's this? Ample Pink. This is a plush glass from MAC. So that's my 
face of the day. I'm taking a couple of my children to the dentist and another one to tennis and yeah, kind of a crazy day, but nothing super exciting is happening. So just kind of the normal mom stuff that I do. I hope you're having a great morning. Um, let me know if you have any questions about any of these products or if there's anything I could clarify about um, any of the brushes or anything. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.